In this section, we're going to see how to use metadata within images. Now, lots of good picture editing programs will allow you to insert this hidden information called metadata sort of behind the picture. People can't see it, but Google can see it. So in this case, what I'm using is a free program called GIMP, G-I-M-P. The nice thing about this program is, as I say, it's totally free. And for most people, just about whatever you want to do with images that you use on your website, it'll do it. Other well-known programs are obviously things like Photoshop, but you have to pay for that. This one's totally free. So in this particular case, I've just quickly uploaded an image here. And if you go to where it says Image, Metadata, Edit Metadata, from there, I can give it a title, I can specify an author, I can put a description in, uh, maybe a few keywords in there and also things like a copyright notice and a copyright URL. So as well as helping with your uh, SEO, you can also, uh, especially if you're using original pictures, you can copyright those with metadata hidden behind the picture. This means if someone in the future steals your pictures, maybe uses them on their websites, if you've gone to the trouble of actually embedded sort of copyright information behind the scenes you know, within the metadata, it makes it legally a lot easier to establish the fact that you own the picture, not the person that stole it from your website. But uh, as I say, that's how you do it, very, very straightforward. We'll look at GIMP in more detail later, but as you can see, as far as uh, inserting metadata, it couldn't really be easier. Incidentally, we're talking about pictures at the moment, but the same principle, as we'll see later, will uh, also work for things like uh, documents and also videos. You know, so uh, a Word document, you need bad metadata pictures, you can embed metadata, videos, you can embed metadata behind the scenes. And the good news is Google can actually read that metadata. So the reason you're doing this is you're basically making it easier for Google to figure out what your picture is about. So if you go to the trouble of renaming the file name for your picture, putting metadata behind the picture, and once the picture is uploaded, then inserting an alt attribute, you've pretty well got it covered in terms of trying to tell Google what that picture is about.